Hey everybody, Jason here with Skeleton Key Tactical. I'm up in Idaho working with the Alien Gear Holsters guys. Getting ready to have a little talk here about uh, the finer points on your grip and your trigger squeeze when you shoot your pistol. Okay, so a couple of things. We, we had a, a discussion a little bit ago about hand placement on the gun, okay? And I want, I want this hand to be as high up as I can get it on the beaver tail, okay? Fingers off the trigger till I'm ready to shoot, as always. And then when we go to build our grip, we're gonna index below the knuckle, toward, toward the tip of the finger, right here on this spot, past my knuckle. This being my line of knuckles, I'm gonna go right here every single time, and then I'm gonna move the hand and rotate and build the grip when I go to present out to the target, and this is what that looks like. So I got a real high uh, position with my non-shooting hand. This is my hand that controls my recoil. This is my hand that runs the gun. The trigger grips the gun, works the trigger, uh, releases the magazine, hits the slide release, blah, 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 okay? So, and then when we go to build our grip, we're here, and we roll that hand out and we index, present the same way every single time. Present means to go from ready position, which is right here, to shooting the gun, which is right here, okay? So when we get to this point, then we're ready to line up our sights and we're gonna squeeze our trigger, okay? Let's talk about our trigger squeeze real quick. Every, every gun that has a trigger, pistol or rifle, whatever, there's a fixed distance right here from the, the back end of the gun, which is, this is called the back strap. So it, the back strap goes up into the beaver tail. So at this point right here to this point right here on the front face of the trigger is a fixed distance. The fixed distance remains the same whether I have my size hands or I have small hands on a person of small stature. Maybe some women have small hands obviously. So their ability to grip the gun here and then where their trigger finger ends up on the trigger is different for them. And what I mean by that is if you've got real long fingers, you may have to bend your, your knuckle farther out this way to accommodate your long finger to be on the trigger so that you're not all the way through over here like this. We don't, we don't want that. That's, that's too much finger on the trigger because it's hard to have a good trigger squeeze. So for me, on a, on a, this is a Glock 17, I, am, I generally put the trigger on the pad of my, the, the fleshy pad of my, of my first digit of my index finger goes right on the middle of the, of the trigger. And then what I do is I take my finger at that first knuckle and instead of bending it on two different hinges, one here and one here, when I engage with the trigger, I flatten my finger out and I'm pulling off of one hinge only straight back. So what that looks like is as I hit the front face of the trigger, it comes to right there. So we'll, we'll do this again. So I'm on the front face of the trigger, right on the fleshy portion right there. I'm working off of one, one hinge right there. And then as I pull, it comes straight back. This is one hinge with a, a base leg and an angle and, the, and the, the leg, if you will, that's moving right along here. Okay, again, it's right there and it's flat all the way back. And I'm pulling that trigger straight back through the gun, imagining that I'm then I'm pulling right back along the axis of the pistol to the, to the base of it, back here at the base of my palm, and I'm pulling straight back. So what I, what I wanna see there is not, I don't wanna pull so that I'm directing it off to the side, to the right or to the left. It needs to be on there and go straight back all the way through, if that makes any sense. Hope that helps you guys. Thanks for watching, appreciate your time today. You can follow us on YouTube, you can go to aliengearholsters.com to see more. Thank <laughs> you.